In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a shattering glass effect with your text in Adobe After Effects. This is an effect feature called Shatter. Where you can create a shattering effect in a variety of different textures, 3D effects, or 2D effects. Let's go ahead and start with just our text. Under the effects and presets, I'm going to type in shatter. I'm going to drag it onto my text. And when you initially start it, you're going to see it in the wireframe mode and in its default settings. Its default settings are to brick because it goes in alphabetical order. And its default radius, this blue, is how far the effect is going to happen. To change these things, let's go under our effects and open up Shatter. Under View, I'm going to select Rendered so that I can actually see the text being rendered. Under Shape, you can see Pattern and it's set to default Bricks. When you click on that, you have tons of different things that you can make it shatter into. I encourage you to try them all just so you can see what they look like, but for the sake of time, we're going to select it to glass because it's a common one. Now, I'm going to go under repetitions. It's a set fault of 10. I'm going to bump that up to about 50. This is the amount of glass that I'm going to generate. I'm going to go to the extrusion depth and it's set to 2 even though it reads as 0.20 and I'm going to set it to its lowest that I can get it because I want small pieces. So now it's small pieces of glass and you can see that they're 3D. Let's go to physics. In physics, I want to adjust the gravity, how fast this falls. Unless you're trying to create the illusion of slow motion, you're going to want this to fall pretty quickly. The higher the number, the faster it falls. Let's exit out of physics now and go to force one. This is where the actual animation is going to occur. In other words, if I play this now, it almost instantly explodes and the viewer doesn't have enough time to read what the word says. So we're going to go under radius under force one and I'm going to set a keyframe I'm going to set this keyframe to zero and we'll scroll down the timeline or I'll set another keyframe I'm going to set this back to 40 So now, when we play through, it holds. Now, to bring your attention to something, the end of the animation, see how you have letters left? This is because the radius isn't wide enough. So what we'll do is we'll go to our keyframe and I'm going to increase the radius of this to 50. And you can see how instantly it disintegrates the entire word. So now it holds. And it holds for a second. 
if you wanted to hold longer at the beginning, just click your first keyframe and move it in a little bit. So that now when it starts, it holds for longer before it explodes. The farther you move in that keyframe, that first keyframe, the longer it holds until the effect begins. It's usually good to have the effect start later, again, so that the viewer can read the actual word before the effect begins. Say you don't want this as a 2D effect. So you want it to be more graphic and not three-dimensional. Well, let's go back to shape and under the extrusion depth we're going to set it to zero. So now it looks like paper or confetti. This is how you use the shatter effect in Adobe After Effects.